dear students today in this lecture we will study dielectric materials dielectric materials are electrically non conducting materials the examples for dielectric materials are glass ebonite mica rubber wood and paper actually these materials would have been called dielectric materials that means non conducting materials all dielectric materials are insulating materials the difference between a dielectric and an insulator lies in their applications that we will see in the next if the main function of non conducting material is to provide electrical insulation then they are called as insulators on the other hand if the main function of non conducting material is to store electrical charges then they are called as dielectrics it is the main difference between a insulator and a dielectric material properties of dielectrics generally the dielectrics are non metallic materials of high resistivity they have a very large energy gap energy gap means it is the difference between conduction band and valence band in the energy band diagram this energy gap is more than 3 electron volts all those materials which have energy gap above 3 electron volts may be dielectric materials all the electrons in the dielectrics are tightly bound to their parent nucleus that means electrons are confined to their constituent atoms as there are no free electrons to carry the current the electrical conductivity of dielectrics is very low since electrons are bound to nucleus that means electrons are bound to their constituent atom there are no free electrons to carry the current inside the dielectric material therefore the electrical conductivity of dielectrics is very low they have negative temperature coefficient of resistance and high insulation resistance these are all the properties of dielectrics now we will see some of important parameters related to dielectric materials permittivity the permittivity represents the dielectric property of a medium it indicates that whether a dielectric is easily polarizable or not it depends upon the nature of the material its unit is farad per meter i will define the polarization in the next uh, section next important point is dielectric constant this is the parameter which you should know in order to study the dielectric materials a dielectric characteristic of a material is determined by its dielectric constant it is a measure of polarization of the dielectrics this is the meaning of dielectric constant what it means this dielectric constant is a dielectric characteristic of a material and it is a measure of polarization of dielectrics now we will define dielectric constant it is the ratio between absolute permittivity of the medium and permittivity of free space that is if we say absolute permittivity of the medium by epsilon and permittivity of free space by epsilon not then dielectric constant is dielectric constant of a material medium is given by epsilon r it is equal to epsilon divided by epsilon not this is the definition of dielectric constant by knowing the dielectric constant we can measure how the dielectric is polarized now we will see polarization the process of producing electric dipoles inside the dielectric by the application of an external electric field is called as polarization in 
dielectrics. What it says? We know that in case of a solid, it is made up of plenty of atoms. In an atom, atom consists of at its center it has a nucleus which has both protons and neutrons where protons are positively charged, neutrons are electrically neutral. Around that nucleus, electrons are revolving in different orbits. That means electrons have negative charge, protons have or nucleus has positive charge. Since in equilibrium, atom is in neutral state, that means total number of positive charges and total number of negative charges, that means electrons, positive charges means protons, are equal. The atom in the equilibrium state neutrons. is. Now we will see what is polarization. In an atom, all the electron charges, that means all the electrons, that is negative charges, is concentrated at one point in an atom. In the same way, all the positive charges are concentrated at point, some point. These positive charge center and negative charge center are coincided in nonpolar molecules or nonpolar atoms. At that point, they are electrically neutral. Whenever we apply external electric field, these positive charge center and negative charge center will be separated because of the application of the external electric field. This process of making these charge centers, positive charge center and electric negative charge center separate by means of application of external electric field is called as polarization. This polarization has different types. They are electronic polarization, ionic polarization, dipolar or orientation polarization, etc. Now we will see polarizability. It is found that the average dipole moment field E is given by mu is equal to alpha into E, where alpha is the polarizability. Polarizability alpha is equal to mu by E according to the above expression. Polarizability is defined as it is the ratio of average dipole moment to the electric field applied. It is its unit is farad meter square. Polarizability tells us that how much we can polarize the dielectric material by the application of electric field. Now we will see the four mechanisms of polarization. First one is electronic or atomic polarization. This involves the separation of center of the electron cloud around an atom with respect to the center of its nucleus under the application of electric field. This is as I have explained earlier. When I was explaining polarization process, actually I have explained the electronic polarization. That means the charge center of electron cloud that is negative charge center and positive charge center that is the charge of nucleus. When they will be separated because of the application of electric field, then we, ca we call that polarization as electronic polarization or atomic polarization. Next one is ionic polarization. This happens in solids with ionic bonding, which automatically have dipoles, but which get cancelled due to symmetry of the crystals. Here, the external field leads to small displ displacement of ions from their equilibrium positions and hence inducing a net dipole moment. In case of ionic solids, it has both positive ions and negative, ion, negative ions. By means of equilibrium, the total number of positive ions and total number of negative ions are same, that are equal. Therefore, because of the symmetry of crystals, these dipoles created by positive ions and negative ions are cancelled. Whenever we apply external field to this ionic solid, there is a small displacement of these ions around their original positions occurs. Because of this 
displacement of ions there is a ionic polarization next one is dipolar or orientation polarization this is primarily due to orientation of molecular dipoles in the direction of applied field which would otherwise be randomly distributed due to thermal randomization process orientation means it is the direction along which a dipole is present in the molecule without the application of external field these molecular dipoles in case of solid are arranged in a random direction that means the molecular dipoles are arranged randomly without the application of applied field and there will be no net magnetic moment whenever we apply field there will be orientation of molecular dipoles in the direction of the applied field there will be a presence of dipole or electric dipole because of the application of external field therefore we say it is ordered state therefore we call this as dipole dipolar or orientation polarization last one is interface or space charge polarization this involves limited movement of charges resulting in alignment of charge dipoles under applied field this usually happens at the grain boundaries or any other surfaces interfaces such as electrode material interface now we will see these by looking at the diagram see this is the center of positive charge this is the center of negative charge without the application of external field at equilibrium these two charge centers will be at the same point whenever we apply external field electric field then there will be a separation of these two charge centers that means that separation is mentioned here by delta therefore because of the charge separation mm. there is there will there is a creation of electric dipole this type of polarization is called as electronic polarization in the same manner ionic polarization anion cation there will be a displacement of these ions because of the application of external field because of this displacement of ions there will be a charge separation between positive and negative ions therefore it is called as ionic polarization third one is dipolar or orientation polarization see here negative charge and positive charges are pre present in this case the molecule has dipole moment in this direction along this arrow mark mm -hmm. whenever we apply electric field along this direction this dipole will be aligned according to the applied field direction as shown in this diagram like this molecular dipoles will be arranged in the direction of applied electric field therefore it is called as orientation polarization or dipolar polarization last one is interfacial polarization or space charge polarization it occurs along the grain boundaries of a crystal or any interfaces around the constituent lattice points this is all about dielectric materials and different types of polarizations different properties of dielectric materials Thank you.